Here at home, Midland ISD board members met for the first time in 2020. They got a snapshot of how the district is doing in the way of retention, test scores, among other benchmarks. Overall, the district is showing progress in key areas. That's encouraging news. News West 9's Rachel Ripp is going through that progress report. Rachel. Tatum, the first focus was on state test scores. Year over year, the district is seeing students pass those exams. We're talking five to 600 more students. And about over 1,000 more made positive gains on the test. Improvement is the name of the game for Midland ISD. And you could say that's exactly what they're doing. The district is retaining more students, meeting more academic milestones, and reaching new achievements. We know that improvement is a continuous process and an ongoing process. Um, but as far as um, celebrations, our graduation rate, like I mentioned, our ACT performance, our dropout rate, we're doing really good on those. So good that they're outperforming the state in each of those areas. Here's a look at that data. You can see MISD is outperforming the state by 0.4% in graduation rates. That success is attributed to the district's dropout recovery walk program. Once we recover the students, it doesn't stop there. We ass assign a lot of interventions for these students. We make sure that we put them in the correct path for, for graduation, whether it be because they didn't pass their state assessment or whether they were missing some coursework. District leaders say a big factor into student performance happens outside of the classroom. It's the student's background. Our economically disadvantaged percentages um, it's a big indicator that filters in into our accountability and how we perform. Midland scores are compared to other districts with a similar student makeup. That number is then factored into the state average. In this progress domain is measured by how our students are performing in STAR compared to um, other uh, elementary campuses or junior high campuses or high school campuses that are similar in star scores and that are similar in economically disadvantaged percentages. District officials say while this data is promising, there is still work to be done. Data shows the district is still lower than the overall state average on star exam scores across all subjects. Tatum. Rachel, thank you. Here's a closer look at that snapshot Rachel just mentioned. This is inside Midland ISD's performance report if you want to take a look at it for yourself. This graph compares the state, regional, and Midland ISD's 2019 star data across all subjects. You can see that while Midland ISD is performing better than other Region 18 schools, you'll see that in red, it's still behind the state average that you see in green.